Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're looking at the value of a laptop computer, which begins at 429 and decreases by 25% every year. So before we actually try and compare it to any of these equations, let's just look at what that looks like for the actual values of the three years. So for year zero, which we can think of as when we're purchasing it, it's gonna be $429. And then after one year, it's going to decrease by 25%. Well, what does that mean? Well, we're going to have $429, and it's going to decrease by 25% of $429. 429 is 100% of itself, so we can think of this as 100% of 429 minus 25% of 429. So at the end of year one, this is going to equal 75% of 429. Year two, it's going to decrease 25% from the previous year's value, which we've now seen is 75% of the previous year's value. So year two can be 75% of the previous year's value. What's the previous year's value? Well, it's this. So it's going to be 75% of 75% of 429. And you can see where this pattern is going. Year three, is going to be 75% of that. And so we're getting this chain where every time we go one year, we're multiplying by 75%. So what is 75%? Well, 75% is 75 over 100. Just by the definition of a percent, a percent is taking something out of 100. In this case, it's 75. And that's equal to 0.75. So our value here is going from 429. 429 times 0 0.75 times 429 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 429 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 times 0 0.75 and now you can see the pattern more clearly and something close to what we're looking at here and if we're taking this y years after it's purchased y equals 0, y equals 1, y equals 2, y equals 3. So how do we get this into a single form where we're going to have the same thing every time except y is just going to be changing? Well, if you think of this as 0 0.5 to the 0 times 429, um, because 0 0.75 to the 0 is just 1, which, which means this is just going to be 429, this is going to be 429 times 0 0.75 to the 1. This is going to be 429 times 0 0.5, 0 0.75 squared, because there's two of them. And this is going to be times 0 0.75 cubed, because there's three of them. You'll notice that these exponents are lining up with your value of y, which means when we're looking at your y, then v is going to be 429 times 0 0.75 to whatever y is. And this is actually going to be our final formula, which you'll notice lines up with answer C. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.